next is the property number six, which is called the even odd property. You'll find a lot of resemblance between property number four, uh, sorry, property number five and property number six, which I'm going to do right now. It says that if you are integrating a function from minus a to a, it becomes integration of f of x from zero to a plus integration of f of minus x from zero to a. Let me prove this uh, mathematically first. Yeah, yeah, so I got your message. Okay. So let me prove this mathematically. Let me start with RH, uh, left hand side. So minus a to a f of x, you can break it up as minus a to zero and zero to a. Let's not disturb this part. Let's work on this part. Okay. Now looking at the proof, uh, looking at the result only, you'll get the idea how to prove it. You just have to put x as minus t. Correct. So this becomes dx becomes minus of dt. Now limits of integration will become a to zero now. So f of minus t dx is minus dt. You can switch your position of the upper and the lower limit and observe the negative sign. By the way, right hand side will be just carried forward. So here just switch the upper and the lower limit and observe the minus sign. And finally, there's nothing in the name. You can put your T back as X. So zero to a F of minus X DX plus zero to a F of X DX. This is what the property says. Now two important conclusions that we can draw from here. I'll write down the conclusions here. Conclusion number one, if your F of X is even function, if your f of x is an even function, that is to say that f of minus x is f of x. Also as to say that the graph is symmetrical about x equal to zero line, which is nothing but your y axis. Then your integral from minus a to a f of x dx is going to be two times zero to a f of x. Guys, remember, I have not said this, but the function is continuous from minus a to a. Conclusion number two. If there's rotation symmetry, then zero. Yes. If f of x is an odd function, that means f of minus x is negative of f of x. That means the graph is symmetrical about zero comma zero. Then what will happen? Integral from minus a to a f of x dx will become zero. Okay, it's very obvious that if a function is an even function, what will happen? The graph will be exactly symmetrical about x equal to zero line, which is your y axis. So instead of finding this area, you can just find out this area and double it up. Okay, so just this area, you double it up, your job is going to be done. So this into two will be your total area. But when your function is symmet uh, symmetrical about origin, then that means there is a cancellation of area happening. Let's say I have a graph like this. Okay. This area and this area will exactly cancel each other out. So integral from minus a to a will vanish. Okay. So this area will be zero. Now this is a very important uh, conclusion because uh, we know that every function can be written as a sum of an even and an odd function. Correct? We have done this in our functions chapter. So whenever you see that your limits of integration are exactly opposite in sign, try to extract out as many odd functions as you can from your given function and just make it zero. The integral of that will be zero. Are you getting my point? And you can only work with the integral of the even function. That is going to save a lot of time for you. Let's take a quick question on this. So is it two? Okay. Shrijan says two. So no, sir. I'm I, sure. Sukhi also says two. Okay. So no, sir. I, 
only oh okay okay even he said too. okay privately he said to <laughs> okay let's check this out this is quite easy you just have to segregate the odd functions odd functions will be yes sir too yeah odd functions will be everything except that one so that one you have to take separately and treat it as as per the even function criteria okay so this you don't have to evaluate at all because this is an odd function okay so this is just nothing but twice 0 to pi by 4 integration of secant square x that's nothing but twice tan x 0 to pi by 4 answer is 2 let's take the next one suppose a function g n x is given by this and it satisfies this equation integral minus 1 to this is equal to 0 for all linear function p x plus q then which of the following option is correct so if it satisfies well all linear functions then won't g n x be 0 like zero function why so because if you consider the areas then it should be like that right because p p p x plus q can be anything it can be like any line so so the areas will be will be unequal so if you want it to become zero then i thought it should be equal mm -hmm. give me a better reasoning b mm, that's correct shrijan is correct anybody else gorav where are you one minute shouldn't be a problem actually Yes, sir. It's easy. It's very easy. Yeah. That means this should be completely an odd function, correct? Now, what odd function? Now, what are the even parts here? Even parts I can see is p x to the power two n plus two. Okay, that's also p a n x square, and it is b n q, correct? These are the even. Uh, no, sorry, even part of the function. Yes or no? Correct. Odd part. I don't have to worry much about odd part because odd part, anyways, integral is going to be giving me zero. So what they are saying that even the integral of these parts from minus one to one should give you zero. Correct. One thing that I can say here for sure that this thing should be zero. that means bn has to be zero for all q so whichever option has bn equal to zero only those option can qualify okay so a and b could be the possible options c and d cannot be okay next if you integrate this you get p x to the power 2n plus 3 by 2n plus 3 and this you get p a n x to the power three by three. Okay. Twice of this. Sorry, I've already integrated it, so I have to just put zero to one. Okay. So it's p by two n plus three is equal plus p a n by three. That's going to be zero. Right. now p need not be zero that means if you take p common or if you directly drop off your p remembering p is not zero so your an will be negative 3 by 2n plus 3 negative 3 by 2n plus 3 which is option number b is what it is saying b is the right option oh yes sir got it Okay so a bit of analysis has to go in next question
if your function is given by this determinant then find the integral from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 of x square plus 1 f of x plus f double dash x anyone so almost said done sir one uh, please also see the uh, video lecture of the definite integral session taken with the other batch so there i have done more basic problems here i have i am taking slightly more challenging ones so but also remember to see then see those videos once your exam is over okay no hurry after the exam is over you can watch those videos let's see who has responded sukit you are correct see guys it's it's just a one minute problem one minute not more than that if you look at the function if you replace your x with minus x okay remember nothing will change in the first column nothing will change in the second column but everything in the third column will become negative isn't it okay which clearly implies this is negative of f of x that means f of x is an odd function correct this clearly implies f of x is an odd function okay so how does it become 1 sorry okay thank god okay so even the double derivative will also be an odd function correct which implies the sum of these two will also be an odd function correct now remember x square plus 1 is an even function x square plus 1 is an even function okay so x square plus 1 into f of x plus f double dash x is a product of even and odd which will actually be odd so if you're integrating an odd function from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, your answer has to be 0, which is none of these. 0 is the answer. So no need to evaluate the determinant at all. It was just based on your understanding of the basic property. That I actually evaluated the determinants. Oh my god. <laughs> so no, so but then I cancelled off most of the things because it was odd. So this is a type of learning for you. Okay, hope you can read this question slightly blurred. Uh, let me just scribble on it. So wait, how do you show that even the double derivative is also an odd function if at all f of x is odd? The derivative of an even function is odd. Correct, and derivative of an odd function is even. Wait, I didn't know that. Huh? Function chapter, we did this, no? Oh, wait, 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 yeah, 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 correct, correct, correct. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, never mind. I, I hope you can read this question now. This is normal brackets. So, it's... It's nothing but integral of x plus 1 by x minus 1 square plus x minus 1 by x plus 1 square minus 2 whole to the power half from minus half to 1. Zero. No, Gaurav. That's not zero. So, one second. Sir? Uh, two. Let's check. Let's check. Okay. Now I'm sure all of you would have two. Okay. Let, let's check. Most of you would have figured out that this is actually x plus one by x minus one minus x minus one by x plus one whole square under root. Correct. Which actually is mod of x plus 1 by x minus 1 minus x minus 1 by x plus 1. Okay. I'm not sure how many of you accounted for this mod thing. 
many of us have this habit of writing square under root as the same thing which is not correct it's actually mod of the same thing for all my mistakes sir okay yeah omkar seems to be correct let's let's discuss it completely so this will become minus half to half uh if you take the lcm inside it will become x square minus 1 yes sir 4x 4x will come up correct now if you draw the wavy curve for 4x by x square minus 1 which is actually 4x by x plus 1 x minus 1 the wavy curve will give you the sign scheme like this correct now you are dealing with minus half to half minus half is here and half is here correct so can i say from acha by the way even even i don't need to do that i can say that this function will always be an even function this entire function is an even function Why? Because if you change your x with minus x, it just becomes minus 4x by x square minus 1 mod, which is same as mod 4x by x square minus 1. That means f of minus x is f of x itself. So I can first make it as 2 times 0 to half mod 4x by x square minus 1. Next square minus one s t n. Now I don't even need this part. I can only deal with zero zero to half interval where the function is negative. so it becomes negative 4x by x square minus 1 i'm sure by this time you would have known how to integrate this so if you take a minus 2 out so minus 4 0 to half 2x by x square minus 1 this integral is minus 4 ln x square minus 1 okay put first half Half will give you ln three uh, by four. Okay, zero will give you zero, so that is just going to be minus four. Sorry, plus four ln four by three. Okay, so is it ln of minus or not defined? No, you are taking mod. Okay, okay, okay. So I think. This is your answer, sir. I didn't get it actually. I missed by a constant, I think. Yeah, I missed by a constant. Yeah, yeah. Is that fine, guys? Ah, uh, then this chapter is pretty long. It's not a small chapter. We have a lot of things to cover. I think uh, the next class, which is uh, next class uh, on Thursday, Friday is your English exam, right? lol yeah <laughs> so please study english before and don't uh, bunk on that day that's going to be an important class sir we won't bunk sir but we won't study english before us exactly <laughs> <laughs> i know last moment you you guys are going to study anyways uh, we'll we'll do a lot of important things uh, the next class so as of now i am just stopping the session over here and all the best for tomorrow's exam thank you sir we need it sir thanks Thank you. Over and out. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.